Hi, this is Ali with Geek Inked Magazine, and we're here at HalCon 2014 talking with author Jacqueline Carey. Jacqueline, the Kushiel series was heavily political. Would you tell us a little bit about your process? Uh, did you have to painstakingly plan out Melisande's mach machinations? Uh, yes, I did, and I am, for the record, very much a plotter and not a pantser, as they say in the literary community. Um, but to be able to set that up, to have a character who's a few steps ahead of everybody else, you, you do need to plan your intrigue well in advance. What was the inspiration behind your main character's tattoo, and do you have any ink yourself? <laughs> do you know, it's actually in my bio that, although asked by inquiring fans, she does not, in fact, have any tattoos, although I am considering changing that. Um, the inspiration was, in part, uh, the idea of these uh, sacred prostitutes, the servants of Nama, most of them belong to a house, and I used flower imagery that's drawn on the Victorian language of flowers, because um, she is not aligned with a house and, and has this dark erotic element. I went with a briar rose that had some uh, sharper, darker symbolism. And of course, there's also a component of I just think, tattoos are really cool. And before the book sold, I did say, I'm going to get a full back piece if it sells. And then it did, and I thought, already people are going to ask me so much, how much of you is in your character? I thought, that's going to be too close a link. So, in fact, I pierced my navel instead. Though I do love the necklace. Thank you. There's a story behind that. What is the story? Uh, this is, in fact, the Briar Rose tattoo. I was recently approached by a professional jeweler to collaborate on an officially licensed piece, and she said to, to use this image to get the publisher to clear the rights, it would have to be a charitable project. And, in fact, through the holidays 2014, this is available from rocklove.com, and all the proceeds are going to my local library. A very good cause. Um, do you think your fans will see any other characters rise out of the Terre d'Ange universe? Uh, I know that they would like to. I do feel... Uh, no. I'll give a point blank no. Um, with the right to reserve... The right to change my mind. Um, because that world has been quite thoroughly explored geographically and really deeply mined for story. So unless I get, you know, smacked upside the head by my muse with an idea that I don't see coming, um, then no. Right. Would you tell us a little bit about your new Agents of Hell series, and what is it about this new character that excites you? Uh, this is a complete change of pace. It's urban fantasy, essentially, which is set in the fictional small town, resort town in Michigan called Pemkawit, but it's actually very much based on my hometown of Saugatuck which is a really weird, weird, quirky little town. And when I started thinking about, I want to do something in the urban fantasy milieu, I was trying to find a justification for the existence of magic. And I thought, well, what if there was had to be a functioning underworld, sort of an inverse of the hermetic principle, as above, so below. And it occurred to me that we actually have a buried lumber town where I live. It was built on sand dunes which were deforested and then the sand dunes rolled over the town. And that kind of <clears throat> inspired me to use this setting. Uh, my main character is Daisy Johansson, whom I describe as a reluctant hellspawn. Sort of a Rosemary's Baby twist. Her mother, as a teenager, uh, summoned a demon with a Ouija board. And one of my fans dubbed the series Ghoulmore Girls, which I kind of love. I think that is actually almost better than Agents of Hell, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Jacqueline, what, what would you give as advice to young authors or young aspiring writers to, who want to break into the field? What would you, you say to them? Um, in terms of learning the craft, I think give yourself permission to make mistakes is probably the biggest piece of advice I have. You know, go forth and do it with gusto. Challenge your characters, break their hearts, do the thing you're afraid of, because the only way really to learn how to write a novel in particular is by doing. 
and just give yourself permission. Uh, on the professional side of things, the industry is in such a state of flux, I wouldn't even dare attempt it. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking with us. Oops, my pleasure. Um, having a wonderful time here at HalCon. Stay tuned for more HalCon coverage with Geek Inked Magazine. Angels from